Today, I sent out a letter to my wife. And this letter I sent out today, I wish to share it with you generally on this platform. This is a letter I titled a letter to my wife, Ijo. To my dearest wife, Ijo, I write this letter today, the 15th day of December 2017. Oh, I hope all is well and good with you. I hear cries of agitations from your clans, and I heard some bad elements amongst you has made you point finger to me. To me, your Lord, you dare not, for I forbid you. But I also know in your heart, you are a very appreciative person. You have always been a good wife and a trusted friend. Although my father used to say, Ooko, Ooko to Erie, meaning a wife among the wives of Lord cries her pain. This is quite understandable though, because the last development seen at Gile Gile was in 1975 by the late Nigeria Army General. Sir Samuel Osaibovo of Bermuda, of blessed memory. And I am now, and I am going to tell you today the truth that you do not know. That the last you saw was the last development ever seen in the land of Edo State. Everyone that had came after him were all corrupt and self-centered human beings except for one, the late Ambrose Ali, also of blessed memory. All others are experts in renovations and masters in foolishness. They never develop, they never build, nor educate the people. The last time I checked, everything was at ground zero. Education, the health system, job, salaries, pensions, society, culture, farming, security, electricity, pipe bond water, family, you can name it on if you care, for the list of accumulated failures just goes on and on. Oh, Ijaw, my dearest wife. I remember vividly today, long, long time ago, the day my father first came to the house and he had talked of a people, the people of the open seas, he said. I saw these people once before journeyed by and twice I have seen them now today. They journeyed in the open seas with wives and little children. Although I was a child, but I knew something was weird about my father's feelings for these people. These people he had called the people of the open seas. Surprisingly enough, one day, father came home with some strangers. He had saw the distress in their wretched canoe and he had ventured into the open waters to render a helping hand to a being of human species on the verge of drowning. For father was a man of a man down to earth and with wisdom, a man of peace and love, and a man of live and let live. He had beckoned to them to come on land, if not for anything else, to let the waves of distress calm down. 
He had gladly welcomed these people to our land and our homes, the people of the open seas. That was how he had introduced you to us and to the people. Father had permitted us to ask you our customary questions, which you comply to willingly. Who are you? And you had replied, We are the people who journeyed by the seas. And your reply to the second question, question had broken our heart. Where are you from? Your answer was this. We are from the we are from a faraway land lost in the sea. We had all broke down like children and sobbed through the night listening to the ill-fated life experience of yours, your people. How could the nation of a people be lost in the sea? Although now modern civilization has revealed that so many land and island and ancient homes of human species were lost or taken over by the waters some long time ago. And yours was not an exception. As there are predictions that so many others will still submerge under waters in future. Father did marry you. Only God knows, only God and Father knows why. And you became a wife. That is why I address this letter to you today as a letter to my wife, a job. And what is a wife? I'll tell you in two simple words a family. When Father married you, you became one of us. You became a family. Father settled you and the children and your people at a place he had called Gile Gile. This place was the site Father had first saw the people of the open seas journeyed by. Your people he called Ozon, meaning the people of the open water. I will tell you the reasons today why Father settled you here in this land called Gile Gile or Gile Gile. Father settled you here firstly because you became a wife. You must not forget. And secondly, Father settled you here and close to the sea to serve as a constant reminder to you of your ancestral homeland that was lost in the seas. For I know that tomorrow your libations and incantations you take to the seas. And when you pray from the land and in your homes, your face are turned towards the seas. That your ancestors may know you are well and in a safe hands. And every year, your people still do a parody of the tragic scenario in the sea in search of the ancestral home. Do not forget. Oh, my dearest Ijor, oh, my dearest wife Ijor, do not forget. Do not forget. And tell me, Father settled you here in the land, close to the seas, the place he had first sighted the people of the open seas that you might be able to rescue your lost people should they wander by. The 
ijo ijo oh my dearest ijo my dearest wife ijo please do not forget how it became you and me gele gele is the land of my fathers oba eware one no gidigan the greatest of all times gele gele is the land of the sun oba eware the second gele gele is the land of the enikau the enigi the okiso and all the obas that has come and that is today gele gele is a territory of igodomigodo Newahire. Gilegele is the land of all the true born of Igodomigodo. And Igodomigodo or Isiagmo, the promised land. My dearest wife, Ijo, live with me as a wife. For a wife is a family. And together we would fight this fight to ensure that our land could compete with the industrialized states and nations of the world. A land where all our needs would be met and there would be no one extra dollar left for our greed. We want a civilized Edo state. We want an industrious Edo state with industries that can produce bicycles, refined wood, vehicle engine, iron rods, steel and rubber. We want Edo state that can mechanize its farm. We want Edo state so industrious, powerful, mechanized and secured that people around the world could come and walk and live their dreams to fulfillment. And to you, the instigators of public disorder, a pester, fracas, a misguided miscreant, a mischief maker, and a delusional mad, you have been spotted among the children, and you shall be fished out individually for the judgment. There was this one I spotted who claimed to be a lawyer but shreds the orders of the courts that he pledged allegiance to. A body is sworn and oath to defend. I have seen his kind before many times. We had nicknamed them the charge and bail lawyers whose chamber is under the mango tree. A job stay clear from such people with a vile and a nefarious intention. For they mean no good. To you fools and mongers of crisis and war, may I remind you today of the battalions of Edo states. In the United States of America and Canada, we have battalions of 18 years and above, male and female, of an estimated 12 million people. In Central Europe, in the United Kingdom, in the Scandinavian, in Russia, and into the Far East, we have a battalion of 18 years and above, male and female, of an estimated, estimated 10 million people. And in the far south of the Pacific, the Australia and the New Zealand, there is an estimated battalion of 1 million people, male and female, which are 18 years and above. And to the land where we have made kings, Ondo, Ife, Eko, Onisha, Wari, Abeokuta, and many more, and to the countries of our forever allies, Benin Republic, Togo, Ghana, Cameroon, Gabon, Israel, and the Japan and the United Kingdom. 
These are all bodies of military and militias that are always and ever ready to defend this land. Igodomi Godo. So I say to you today, muggers of destabilization, backtrack your vile utterance and your nefarious intentions, for you shall not succeed. Enjoy my people. Rephrase your words. Enlighten yourselves in accordance with the true history. And in 14 days, you must appease with the palace. The home of my father and your father. The palace of your Monobane Ewedo of Aeware II, the Oba of Benin Kingdom, and celebrate the great festival of Agwe or Igwe with the Oba in beautiful style. But before I leave you today, I would like to tell you a story. A story of a sad and a bitter ending. In the course of my studies and training as a young anthropologist in the year 2000, I found myself in the kingdom of Morocco in the company of so many lads and so many young women. These were young Africans heading to Europe. And at the second quarter of that year, 2000, I met a brother and a friend. He was an enjoy. Dark in complexion, soft-spoken, plumpy, muscular lad. And he had hat, the one we say, he talked, he talked well, well. Or maybe I was short. His name was called Everest. Everest was an amiable lad. How did I knew Everest? We were lodging at the same hotel, Nasari. One day, When he was passing by, someone whispered in my ears these words. That is the guy that was caught alone on the high sea, swimming to Ceuta, Spain. What? Then I rushed to him. Oh boy, how did that happen? He had laughed. But he did told me it was true that he was caught on the high sea and he had shared the story with me and that story I wish to share with you today no money no one to call for money Desperate and frustrated, he left Tanja for Ceuta. He waited till nightfall, brought out a plastic bag, pulled his dry clothes and placed them inside the plastic bag and tied it to his waist. He had spotted by the day a not too distant in a not too distant kilometer of water between Morocco and Ceuta. And after he had safely tied his dry clothes to his waist, Everest headed for the deep, cold, dark water. What has that bite in your skins like a thousand pins? And he began to swim hoping to get to Europe, hoping to get to Spain. But while doing all this, he was being washed. He was caught on the radar 
of the Marine and was deported back to Morocco. Everest was, the, was a brother we all loved. So one day, Some other set of people came to the hotel, Nasari, and they were all my Bini brothers. But one also assigned the others. He had height like Everest, and also nice looking, fair in complexion, although his name was said, but I cannot remember. This particular lad also became a friend, a very good friend to Everest. One thing led to another, and they found themselves on the same boat, on the same boat, a stowaway boat to Europe. Those that witnessed the incident narrated the episode like this. The boat became faulty at the high sea and the waters were gradually entering into the boat and everyone became troubled. And anxious. And Everest not knowing what the fate of the boat was going to be. And as he couldn't just sit back and watch himself drown to death, he decided to hit the deep. And this other lad, the Bini guy that was with him on the boat, followed. The Bini man followed the Ijo man because he believed they were brothers. And on that day, about the end of the fourth quarter of that year, 2000, the two brothers died. One was a Benin lad, and the other was an Ijo son. But they were both brothers. <laughs> Except otherwise proven, and beyond all reasonable doubt, that all the Ijo's, our brothers, in the land of Igodomigodo, wants to turn against the palace and the people and the laws of the land and the wish of our fathers should it degenerate to war. We will never go against the wish of our fathers and I want to emphatically emphasize on this. We would never allow anyone or group of people to go against our father's wish. Ways, culture, laws and principles either. In job, you must obey the customary laws of the land at those states, as usual. You must obey the state's high court laws. You must obey the federal government of Nigeria laws. You must obey the Edo state government and our governor, Mr. Godwin Obaseki. You must obey the Oba of Benin Kingdom, or Monoba Nebuedo, or by Eware the second. Ijo, my father married you as a wife, and I called you my wife too, and my family. And this letter as addressed to you today, my dearest wife Ijo, you can never pay the price of divorcing me, so I will never let you go. Thank you, and God bless you. My name is Mr. Bright Wenusagi. Thank you all.